two quantities, A and B, are in the golden ratio if A over B is the same as the ratio of their sum, A plus B, to the larger of the two quantities. This golden ratio is called phi, it's about 1.6, and shows up all over nature. But what I want to talk about is this golden integral, which admittedly is a little intimidating, now that you know what phi is and having it show up in those exponents. To solve this, we'll have to know a few facts about the golden ratio. Namely, that it's a solution to this quadratic equation, which is to say phi squared minus phi equals 1. Or dividing by phi gives us 1 over phi equals phi minus 1. Keeping that in mind, how should we tackle this integral? One way is via a very slick substitution. Let's let u equal x to the phi. That makes du phi times x to the phi minus 1 dx using the power rule. Or du over phi x to the phi minus 1 is dx. Notice that we don't have to change our limits of integration since when x is 0, u is also 0, and when x tends towards infinity, so does u. Making this substitution leaves us with a bit of a cluttered integrand, though. The 1 over phi is a constant, we can pull that outside the integral, but the only variable inside should be u, now that we're integrating with respect to u. To see what's going on, let's break that x up using properties of exponents. And looking back at our substitution, we know what x to the phi is. It's u. But what is just x? We can solve for x in terms of u by taking our substitution equation to the 1 over phi power. Now u to the 1 over phi is x, and we can complete our substitution. What we have now should remind you about those facts of the golden ratio, namely 1 over phi equals phi minus 1. Let's replace that and combine these u's once again using properties of exponents. Now, I've left these exponents this way for a very specific reason. And using just a little bit of trickery, I'll rewrite the exponent in the denominator as well. Why do this? Well, frequent viewers of this channel might know I'm a pretty big fan of the gamma function, but not in this video. Gamma doesn't show up here, it's gamma's cousin, the beta function. In fact, what we have here is a variant on the beta function. We just have to be very careful with how we match things up. x in the beta function is phi minus 1 inside our integral, and y in the beta function is just 1 inside our integral. That's why we left the exponents the way that we did. Noticing that actually completes our integration. We have 1 over phi, beta of phi minus 1 and 1. The beta function actually does evaluate to a combination of gamma functions, so what we have is 1 over phi times gamma of phi minus 1, gamma of 1, divided by gamma of phi minus 1 plus 1, gamma of phi. The gamma function is the generalized factorial function. Gamma x is x minus 1 factorial. Thus, we have phi minus 2 factorial, 0 factorial, which is 1, and phi minus 1 factorial. We can simplify this using properties of factorials. Phi minus 2 factorial over phi minus 1 factorial cancels to 1 over phi minus 1. This solution is pretty elegant because, one more time, remember, 1 over phi is phi minus 1. These cancel out and we get 1. That is an absolutely incredible result. But did you know there are results even more astounding than that? Click the video right here to check them out. I'll see you in that one.